Welcome to the Local Marketing Source Weekly Update, brought to you by LocalMarketingSource.com. This update is taken from the Local Marketing Source Professional Development Program for Local Marketers. This week's Local Marketing Update is brought to you by Scott Gallagher. Scott is the co-founder of Local Marketing Source and has become the recognized expert in providing online marketing services to local businesses. Follow Scott on Twitter at ScottGallagher5. And on hey, well, good afternoon, everyone. Scott Gallagher here with Local Marketing Source and bringing you our little weekly local marketing industry update. Now, next week's LMS member call is going to be January 29th, uh, 2014. Uh, we've got a couple of different things to talk about this week for an overview, um, as, as well as uh, some tips for local business. Um, and, and the member Facebook group, I'd like to give a shout out for that. It's been very busy as, as well. But this week for an overview, um, we're going to take a look at the MIA of the local carousel. Uh, discuss what's going on with that and the short-lived life of the Google local carousel. Uh, as well as uh, some stuff that Matt Cutts has discussed in regards to guest blogging and what does work and what doesn't work as a guest blogger to create links. Now this week for uh, tips we're gonna uh, just briefly discuss tools and, and what's been relevant and why we've been talking about tools and then for the agency this tip uh, this week we're gonna have a recap on the three pillars of local search. Um, now, in the member Facebook group, if you haven't, if you're a, an active LMS member and you haven't been in there lately, definitely get in there, set some time aside, and get your pen and paper out. There's been some really good discussions between several different members. Uh, you know, Scott's talking about uh, pricing questions and how to position certain services for uh, local business clients, and Thomas talking about you know some of the video aspect of dealing with a new client and, and PPC. Uh, Brian's been asking questions uh, again he's got his first client what are some of the first steps that he should be moving forward with that um, other students Eric is is talking about um, how to estimate and propose services to businesses and, and determine how big of an opportunity there is for uh, a population size of say 200,000 now if you uh, if you if you're a member or not a member, last week we had a really good webinar. We had a special guest in town, uh, Justin Holly from GetALink.com, and we did a webinar on uh, different tools that are available out there for local businesses. Uh, you can go to the local marketing source blog and view that. There's a, as well as a tools page uh, now created to get on there. And what you know we. We really wanted to be, you know, be like the Trader Joe's of, of education. Um, that, you know, there's dozens of different tools for you to go out in there and pick. Uh, some good, some bad, some paid, some free, some do different things and understanding what they're capable of. Uh, so we talk about a small set of different tools that are being used. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of what we try to do with uh, SEO is, is manual. Um, Sometimes tools just don't cut it, but it, it, definitely go and, and check that out. Uh, we talk a little bit about an email marketing tool, but more so data analytic tool, uh, how you can uh, grab certain data and what data is ultimately relevant, but more importantly, uh, ranking and citation management tools. Um, now, for this week's update, uh, the Luke. Google, the Google local carousel is uh, done, at least on desktop. Uh, not so much on mobile, but not all searches are getting it. It's kind of working in a strange mode at this point. Um, what's going to go on with that? Google put a lot into that. We saw it. It came out in a big bang in a lot of different industries really, really quick. Uh, but the question is raised, is this a larger part to clean up their act? They obviously had done a lot of testing before with it, and they rolled it out. Um, but ultimately, 
it just it was uh, it, it supported its own algorithm. It had different results. Uh, the results were were heavily skewed on Google Plus. So there's some speculation that you know what they've learned there. They may be rolling out to uh, their their organic local side, which is very likely. Uh, we definitely know, even though Google denies it, that local factors such as plus ones are a very important fact um, and factor in determining rankings. All right, so Matt Cutts has come out and said that guest blogging is dead. Well, what is guest blogging? First off, it could be just leaving comments, but more so, it's contacting blogs and giving them content. I've had people contact me for, for my blog, uh, to provide content, and in exchange, they're always looking for at least one link back, um, utilizing anchor text. And this is a strategy that's been around for quite some time. But looking at the strategy, just like article marketing, there's a good way and a bad way of going about and doing it, in ways that you can get value and not have value. And the, the first aspect, you know, one of the very first things I noticed, but does exist out there quite frequently with guest blogging, is off topic blogging. It, you know, my, my blog is an internet marketing blog. It makes no sense for me to have carpet cleaning information on it. Where's the relevancy for that? Um, you know, if I'm, if, if I'm on my blog and I've got somebody that's within the industry and is an authority in the industry and has a good message for my audience, well, maybe that's an on-topic conversation and maybe that's a guest blog post that should have and should pass some authority from, from my blog. But if I'm just out there whoring anybody... Uh, there's really not not a lot of value in it. And so even though Google has come out and said that guest blogging is dead, they've said it because there's a lot of spam that's out there, that's true. Uh, but don't kid yourself that Google cannot figure out and does not understand on-topic blogging. And, you know, if, if, if I had a piece that uh, ended up on moz.com um, and I gave them a piece of content that was relevant that's still considered guest blogging. And if I'm not spammy about where the anchor text goes, goes back to me, more so maybe my name or my company name with a link to it, that adds a lot of authority to my website that if the topic of the piece was on internet marketing. And I don't really need to have that anchor text specifically in there. I don't need to make the post looks spammy. I can create content that has value, and if that content is ultimately shared, well, that's going to be a high-value link back to my site. So guest blogging is not dead. It's just a matter of the relationship that you build and what sites you're getting your content on. Now, <clears throat> every once in a while, uh, there's really not a lot to have in discussion. Uh, at least that's going on in local. We didn't have a lot last week, and obviously this week we don't have a lot to a lot of different things to cover. Um, but I do want to talk about uh, a local internet marketing agency tip, and this is going to be the recap of the three pillars. So I'm going to be back in about 30 seconds, and we'll talk about that. Well, thanks for watching the Local Marketing Industry Update. We've got these things coming out every single week. So if you liked with what you heard, just click the button right above me right here to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to get a little bit more, right over here, go check out localmarketingsource.com. We've got free reports that you can grab. You can even register for our free marketing course to get in and see the portal. Or just go ahead and follow us on some of the social channels. We'll be around. Until next time.